I'm Ana Claudia Rocha from the University of State of Rio de Janeiro. I'm the author of the article entitled Evaluation of the Effect of Silicon Implant on Breast Parenchyma. The key point of this article is that silicon implant does have mechanical effect on breast tissue when placed on subglandular plane. We have shown that women who had breast augmentation on the subglandular plane has a breast tissue loss of about 20% after 12 months. This is very important so surgeon can plan with more accuracy implant size and surgeon can inform patients about the breast tissue loss after 12 months. A patient can have the knowledge that the implants, the vol final volume will be 20% less than they expect for the implant size. We know that breast tissue loss it's correlated with uh, breast deformity like um, rippling, implant palpability, implant visibility. So patients that are very thin or patients who want big implants should not consider subglandular plane or surgeons should consider subglandular plane with fat grafting to avoid those complications that I just mentioned. The next steps of this research is to correlate implant size with a greater volume loss. We want to correlate that if big implants, bigger implants uh, are related to bigger volume loss.